Welcome to section number two, where we will address some key concepts regarding IT. The first topic will be about services and service management. What exactly is a service? In very simple words, a service is a way to help customer achieve outcomes. How exactly do we do that? Well, by executing an activity instead of the customer. So we are doing something for the customer, help them achieve an outcome. And by doing that, we as a provider, we also deal and we assume some of the specific risks and costs associated with that activity. What exactly does it mean? Well, let me give you an example. For example, let's say I am trying to repaint my old apartment. So I could have two different approaches. I could either do it myself or I could go to a specialized organization, to a service provider who can do that for me. In the first option, if I choose to do it myself, I would have to go to the store and buy all the necessary equipments and the paint and plastic foil and protection gear and so on. So that would be a specific cost associated with painting the walls, but it would be a waste because what am I going to do with all this equipment after the job is done? Right? There are also specific risks involved for me as a customer. For example, there is a risk I may injure myself in the process, maybe dropping something on the floor and uh, messing the floor. So this is a specific risk associated with that. In option number two, if I would choose to go to a specialized provider, these risks and these specific costs would be assumed by the provider. So that would be an advantage for me. Also, you need to know for the exam that value in ITIL is co-created. What does it mean exactly? In the latest years, we come to realize that actually not only the provider is important when creating value, but also the customer has some responsibility. That's the concept of value co-creation. For example, if me as a customer, I'm not specifying the right colors, then most definitely I would not be satisfied with the end result. That's just an example to understand the concept of value co-creation. So it's not only about what the provider does or how they do it, but it's also about what the customer does in order to ensure the creation of value. Although we talk about services and I've mentioned that ITIL is a framework for service management, in reality, these days, most of the times, providers actually do not sell just services to their customers. Most of the times they sell something which is called in ITIL a service offering. What exactly is that? It's like a package which contains some goods, access to resources and service actions. Let me give you an example. Let's say that uh, you're the customer of a bank and the bank wants to provide you access to uh, your accounts by using a credit card. So. The bank will give you a debit or a credit card which you can use and the card in itself, it's a product. It's something physical that you keep with yourself. It stays with you. But in order for the card to be useful, the bank will also need to give you access to their network of ATMs, of cash machines, right? So that you can deposit or withdraw cash. And whenever you have a technical issue, let's say, the bank will also provide you user support. So it will give you access to some service actions. So that's the concept of a service offering. It's comprised of goods, access to resources, and service actions. We talked about services, but what about service management? Well, service management, according to ITIL, is a set of specialized organizational capabilities for enabling value for customers in the form of services. But in a more simple language, service management, it's about everything an organization has to do in order to make sure that they provide the most valuable services with the minimum effort to their customers. So it's about getting organized. It's about being efficient, being effective. It's about eliminating waste. It's about improving yourself. It's a discipline with a lot of practices, with a lot of guidelines, of principles. And ITIL is currently the model for service management, the most popular framework for service management. So you should know the official definition. You should also know the fact that the larger the company, the more important service management begins to be. If you're a startup, for example, you don't have too much need for service management. But the larger you grow, the more important it's going to be because if you don't have service management, if you do not invest in that, your company is going to be complete chaos. It's going to be chaotic and it's going to be very difficult to manage and predict.